Dolly has a new pet. She's got a snake napping on her hand. Don't be scared. It's actually a pencil. Let's prepare a rubber snake and a bendy pencil. Cut a little bit off the end of the pencil and sharpen it. Glue it to the head of the snake. Our snake is perfect for scaring the intern. She wasn't expecting a new scaly student to be sitting at this desk. Oh gosh, Miss Penny Poppins is really scared of snakes. She even has a special dance to chase reptiles away. But the girls are celebrating. Finally, the intern is facing her fears. She's figured out that it's just a toy. Miss Penny Poppins' pencils keep breaking. It's because she's so nervous. She needs a small anti-stress friend right away. The teacher has just one pencil left. Did that one break too? Don't cry, Penny. Our sweet octopus pencil sharpener is swimming over to help. Look how happy it is to see you. Take a toothpick container, make an opening in the lid, and glue a pencil sharpener inside. Cover the container with light clay. Make eyes and decorate them with acrylic paint. Glue them onto the body. Add cheeks. Cover the lid and pencil sharpener with light clay. Poke an opening and glue on a bill for the cap. Let's give the octopus a smile. Tone the cap with white acrylic paint. Roll light clay into long tentacles and glue them to the body. Put on the pencil sharpener cap. Add suckers to the tentacles. Miss Penny Poppins is very glad to meet this new friend. The octopus took care of all her broken pencils. That's what friends are for. The class has lost its flow and is dragging on forever. Time to make it speed up. Let's get out our racing game. Attach two strips of black tape to a plastic folder. This will be our racetrack. Mark start and finish with red tape. Glue stacks of staples onto miniature cars. Attach magnets to pencils and control the cars with the magnets from the other side of the folder. The girls are finished preparing their race tracking cars and magnetic pencils. Let's ride! Ready, set, go! It's the Fast and Furious in physics class and it'll go down in worldwide racing history. So many crashes on one folder. Now that's a real spectator sport. Christy is feeling kind of sad. Miss Smith brings a sketch pad. Christy manages to make a drawing as gloomy as she is. Miss Smith is disappointed. As a rule, all students love art classes. She must have lost her teaching talent when her personality split. But Jessica knows how to distract her friend. She takes out a special coloring page, which will cheer her up. Print out coloring pages and put them into a sketch pad. Copy the coloring page design on a sheet of paper. Add a title and the list of colors and moods. Define the lines with a black pen. Fill the entire pad with coloring pages. The point of this coloring book is very simple. Choose the color that corresponds to your mood and start creating. Christy is feeling a little bit blue today. It's obvious. She colors a sad donut. But Jessica chooses the color of happiness. It's green. She fills in her coloring page quickly. Stop feeling sad, Christy. This pad still has a ton of coloring pages left. You can even fill the entire pad with your blue sadness. You never know when a giant box of crayons will suddenly appear in your life. Miss Smith surprises her students big time. Hot glue two pieces of foam, which are 20 by 24 inches in size. Cut the top flap of a box with a hole from thick cardboard. Cover the cardboard flap with a yellow foam rubber sheet. Make cuts in the foam. Put in the flap and hot glue. 
Cover the sides and back of the foam piece. Print out an image of a Crayola box on glossy paper and attach it to the front. The crayon box is so soft and nice to touch. You just want to lay on it and take a nap. This pillow will make you dream very colorful dreams. But a nap during class time is not on Miss Mean's teaching agenda. She ruins all her students' dreams with her soft crayon. Cut a little piece of a polyethylene foam stick. Cut it to make a cone and hot glue it to the rest of the rod. Wrap it with a foam rubber sheet. Color the remaining white parts with acrylic paint in the shade of the foam rubber sheet. Print out a Crayola label and attach it. It's not very nice to wake up when someone hits your head with a crayon. The soft crayon doesn't cheer the girls up. They woke up in the middle of the best part of the dream. Let them dream of Leonardo DiCaprio being a teacher of their school. Miss Mean loses this round. Miss Smith wins this round two to one. Dolly is not herself in art class today. Pencils are being broken and stress is building. Next thing you know, she's on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Relax, Cindy has a cute donut that will help both Dolly and her broken pencils. Cut out a donut out of a sponge. Make a rectangular hole at the side and stick a pencil sharpener into it. Cut glaze out of a foam rubber sheet and hot glue it onto the sponge. Cut thin foam rubber sheet strips into sprinkles. Decorate the glaze. Dolly doesn't understand what she would need a sponge donut for. Does her friend actually want her to take a cold shower in order to get rid of stress? But the truth is way simpler. There's a pencil sharpener hidden inside the squishy donut. Both Dolly and her hands calm down while she sharpens her pencils. Cindy finds a mysterious object on the desk. What is it? Paper clips, crayons, or an eraser? It's some kind of a school supplies hybrid. But Dolly calms her friend down. It's just a game. You just need a magnet to make the paper clips come to life. Hot glue a magnet to a marker cap. Fill a jar with metallic paper clips. Trace the jar on an eraser. Cut it out and hot glue it to the bottom. Cut an empty tea light -like container and wrap it to make a cone. Fasten it with hot glue. Slice crayons and melt and pour them into the cone. Put the jar cap into the melted wax and wait for the crayons to harden. Take off the cone and shape it using a knife. Now you can move paper clips inside the jar with a magnet. Cindy figures out how this paper clip game works. She is mesmerized by the laws of physics. Magnetic field in action. And in addition to this, you can play tic-tac-toe with a crayon and marker. This jar is full of peace and fun. Art class. Christy is jealous of her neighbor, but Christy doesn't manage to do anything. She is angry at the entire art world. Plus, her brush is broken. This is so unfair. Stevie wants to help his friend uncover her talent. He just happens to have exactly what she needs, a great anti-stress brush. Arrange colored foam rubber sheets to make a stack. Cut it into thin strips. Arrange the strips into a bundle and fasten with rubber bands. Color a cardboard roll with silver acrylic paint. Put the bristles in it and fasten them with hot glue. Make the brush handle using a longer cardboard tube. Cut it lengthwise. Roll its end tightly so that it's looser at the other end. Fasten it with painter's tape. You get a handle shaped like a cut-off cone. Place the top of the brush onto the wider part of the handle. Fasten it with hot glue. Shape light clay into a donut. 
and put it onto the handle. Make a few colored donut-shaped rings. Each subsequent ring should be smaller than the previous one and put the rings onto the handle one after another. Fasten them with a cap made from light clay. Christy doesn't understand the benefit of the brush at first. It's not made for paints. It's made to relieve your stress. Squeeze different parts of it and relax your hands. It's good for art inspiration. Christy is playing with her favorite slime, but Miss Smith is against toys in class and the girls know that very well. That's why Jessica has a secret hiding place for a slime in a package of sticky notes. Cut a square hole out of a block of sticky notes. Leave some sticky notes uncut on the top and bottom. Cut a template for a box the size of the opening out of clear plastic. Put it together and attach it inside the block. Let's mix up a slime. Add acrylic paint to Elmer's glue. Sprinkle in some glitter and add borax. Put the finished slime into the sticky note safe. A block of sticky notes is the perfect hiding place for all slimes on the run. No one will find them in here. The yellow slime is safe. You can take it out and play with it right in the middle of class. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell so you don't miss new fun classes from the School of Troom Troom.